So we've drawn the demand curve. But the big question, though, is whether this demand curve of ours satisfy the law of demand. The law of demand states inverse relationship to, between price and quantity demanded. Remember that. So, does this demand curve of ours satisfy the law of demand? Let's take a decrease in price, say from 7 to 5. Now, we know that decrease in price, this decrease in price will increase quantity demanded from 2 to 6. In other words, we move from this point to this point on the demand curve. When the price decreases from 7 to 5, we move from here to here on the demand curve. So yes, a decrease in price led to an increase in quantity demanded. We're on the right track. Let's take an increase in price and let's assume, let's start with price 1. And we take a price increase to the price 3. Price increase from 1 to 3. Quantity demanded decreases from 14 to 10. So the increase in price led to a decrease in quantity demanded. Yes, we move from this point on the demand curve to this point on the demand curve. So with a decrease in price, quantity demanded increase, we move from this point to this point on the demand curve, and an increase in price led to a decrease in quantity demanded, a movement on the demand curve from year to year. So yes, we can say that our demand curve satisfy the law of demand because an increase in price led to a decrease in quantity demanded and a decrease in price led to an increase in quantity demanded.